Is that sure? Did, yeah. How? Why? Why yeah, do you well, think then. you're so good at it? Or are you? Well, I don't know about. Listen, because I've seen the, crazy shit. I've watched you do crazy shit. Gambling discipline. Yeah. I, again, I ta- I was talking about this. Re- I have a very high tolerance for risk. You know, you you have to have a high tolerance for risk, and and you have to have a certain mindset because there's days that you go out and Caesar's Palace. I clip these guys for a million bucks a night from like January, the first week of January, all the way into uh, March. And I beat these guys for like $26, $27 million. But then you have the nights where you get murdered. Yeah. So you have to take the, I look at the, I take a year and I look at the year as a war and there's many battles that are fought in the war. You go up, you go down. And it's just, it's what I love to do. So yeah. tonight, so I got this doctor friend who's in town, right? Me and this guy met in a restaurant. Super good dude. Him and his wife are good people. They're from Florida. This guy invented something. He was a heart surgeon and invented something that he patented. So he's got some money. So he calls me up uh, two days ago. He's all f***ed up, right? He's like, I lost $3 million, man. I'm freaking out. and. I'm here till the end of the week or whatever. I need you. So tonight, he, he, he put more money into his account. And he's like, I want you to f- play for me and win. He says, I've seen you win a million a night, four nights in a f- row. You can do this for me or whatever. I said, so you and the doc are going in tonight. I'll, I'll see you tonight. Wow. So I'm going to go there tonight. You put some money in, and I'm going to try to win his three million bucks back wow. tonight. So is that something that you're going to play until you win it back? Or if, what if you go down two million? But never know. That's, that's how it goes. Can you can you tell us? I don't know if you want to share this. Can you tell us your biggest losing session? Yeah, eight million. In one Ooh, sitting. How long? How long? Uh, one night. But how, so the whole night. No. How many hours? You, you gotta have there? to understand. I think you have it's, to take us through the thing. So what's a bad night look like? You start with thirty thousand, right? Every time. You wait, take 30, Bob, hold on. No, no, no. no. So, talk, does, so if you see me play thirty thousand, that, that I'm just that's just f-ing around at Red Rock. Yeah, but Rock. Caesars, you play big. That's just f-ing around at I Red know. Rock. Yeah. Okay, wait, Dana. No, so you, so so I can play. I can play uh, 350 a hand wow. at Caesars, and I can play 400 a hand at Bellagio. Holy! F- when you go in there, then then it's f- big boy play. It's no, like I've been with you. With three hands, you lose nuts. three hands. It's 1.2 million dollars. You go to the so, bathroom when Dana's playing, and you come back. He's it could be a three million dollars swing. I know, I've seen it. Wait, Dana, what's your what's going through your head? Like obviously we all tilt, but what's your logic after you lose eight million? Nothing. I go home. I f- but do you go back the next day and say I'm, I'm getting my f- money back, or how do you handle that? Uh, it depends. It depends. I don't know. It's it's hard to explain, but um, it depends on where we're at. Like the Caesars thing, when you're up twenty four, twenty six million, yeah, you got room to you got room to battle. But if you go right in and get f- executed for you know three to eight million bucks, that's that's a whole nother strategy. But don't you, don't you keep the same strategy every time? Don't you buy them with the so so you go to Caesars right now? What are you doing? Yeah, so I'd go in. You, you know, you you, you play. I, I play three fifty a hand, right? So you take a 350 marker, is that what it is? Or do you yeah. just put up 350? Three hands. I win three hands in a row. Yeah. We're leaving. Okay. So what if it's loss, win, well, win? Yeah. That's right. Well, some nights you battle back and forth. But once I, once I get up around 800 to a million, we're leaving. But it could always be three hands. It could only be a three-hand night, right? If you win, win, win. Well, if you win three hands. When you come up, so you go in with a fresh board, right? right? Fresh board. They shuffle the card. They put, I, I've been playing Baccarat. Right, so they they put the cards in. Now it's a fifty fifty shot. Right, you could get a tie, but it's a fifty fifty shot. It's either going banker or player. So you, I always make the first bet, um, player. No banker. First bet's always banker. The banker hits. You're up three hundred fifty thousand. You got to win two more f- hands, and they're all fifty fifty bets. So if you can pull off the two hands, like I said. I went on that streak right. at the beginning of the year, and we were literally walking out of there with a with a million dollars a night. So cash. Red Rock, Red Rock must be not like not be interesting anymore then. Not to be a no, against Red I Rock. Still play why, Red Rock. Do, do they, I, why I, do they cap your limits and why do Caesars? I go up to Red Rock and, and goof around. They, they can't handle that, that. Those they don't different. Animal. They don't want to take that kind. Right when you're talking about Caesar's Palace, yeah. they take any action. So what it means is, so Red Rock has one player like me, mm-hmm. me. That's it. Right, Caesars has twenty-five players like me. Right, so you know, and bigger than me, bigger than me. How, so, so that's the biggest you can get, though. Three fifty. Are there guys a lot of bit a million a hand? No. Is there? Is there? Any- that's my goal. That's my goal in life before I die. 
to be able to play. To bet a million a hand. Great goal. Million a hand. At three hands. I want thirty million in credit and a million a hand. <laughs> Holy That's shit! Unfair. Why? Just you want to feel? And no one will give you those. Someone will Nobody. do that in the world. No. Nobody. And I. This isn't the first time I've said it publicly. I've said it. No. Nobody's calling me up, going, "We'll do it." <laughs> Nobody. Because guess what? You think about this, right? I was just telling you guys, I win three hands. I win three million bucks, right? Three hands at, at, at a million. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's three million. You can refire. So if I could go in there for a month and clip three hands Bro. at three million bucks a hand, I f Caesar's whole f quarter up when I did this <laughs> on their on their earnings call. They actually mentioned me without mentioning me on their f earnings call that month. I f their whole. F they didn't. Do they, they, they do they give you That's like hilarious. so like you talk about when you go to a casino. Wait, and you're they don't up. blacklist you for a little bit after that win. Caesar's is f gangster. If you are a big player yeah. and you like to play big money, Caesars Palace is where you should play. They treat their players really well. At the end of the year, you know, they have levels of play. They have this massive ballroom, massive ballroom. And you can go in there and Christmas shop. They got snowmobiles, motorcycles, clothes, jewelry, electronics. You can buy everything. So what I do is with my points at the end of every year, I have my – my head of PR, Lene, goes in there and buys all this shit, and we give it to the employees. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Every year. Trips, you name it. Do all that shit, and I give it to all my employees. Um, God, what was I going to tell you guys? Uh, I forgot mine, too. I had a great Oh, question. so when you Sorry. walk in downstairs, you see the, uh, the Joe Lewis statue? Yeah. So Caesar's Palace called me one time. This was 15 years ago. And they're like, you know, you're such a good player and you're, you're all good to us and you, we, 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 you never let us do anything for you, this and that. What can we do for you? And I said, I'm going to totally f*** with these guys. I, said, <laughs> I want the Joe Lewis statue that's in the f uh. <laughs> I said, I want the Joe Lewis statue that's in, in the sports book. And they're like, crickets on the other end of the phone. <laughs> they're like, uh, let us get back to you. Well, uh, uh, so they call me back and they're like, you know the Joe Lewis marble statue that's in there? Yeah. It's been in there for years they're like dana that thing's iconic joe lewis was here and we added this that and everything else here's what we're gonna do the guy who did it died but his son we're gonna fly him in from japan they flew him in from japan they shut down the sports book and they they, they put these curtains up the yeah. son came in and did a cast of it you know the original one is marble and he made me the bronze one which is better than the marble one and they actually did that for me and that's why i put that thing down in the lobby they also took the picture off the wall at caesar's of muhammad ali